I'll do a podcast back and forth, but you know, the the the, the flying solo. Oh, maybe we'll do it if people like it. I'll do Look, you're making me feel like I'm needed, and I'm not going to argue with you. So <laughs> that's all I need, baby. I need you, Lewis. This is I it. I need you. I called anyway. it. You didn't really call it. I just want to point that out. I specifically said on the show, Daniel Cormier is going to win. Now, you said, like, oh, I'm friends with him. I have nothing but respect for him. You know, blah, 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 blah. But you were definitely leaning towards Stipe Miocic in that fight. And I just want to, once in a while, I get to gloat. I was right. Okay. The, did, did that feel good? Not as good as I wanted it did, to, to be honest. Did it feel good? Exactly. No. It, wasn't, it wasn't everything it was made out to be. I thought it was going to be better. You came across a little smug, <laughs> a little narcissistic. It's true. You know, everyone on the comment section of YouTube are turning against me and now loving Lewis. That's right, motherfuckers. I, I win him over. After that comment, Lewis, I'm not so sure now. Maybe, maybe they're going to U-turn. Can I tell you why? Here's what happens, right? Because it's not even that they're turning on you. People fall in love with me after a little while, and they don't even get it. They're like... They're like I, they don't, my girlfriend described it. She's like, it's it's like beer. She's like, at first you take a sip, you're like, I hate this. It's I never want to. At first, you're, like, you're really annoyed about the fight, but then after a while, you're just going to embrace it. Yeah, they're like, I could fuck anybody. Like Let's go. Time. Freedom. <laughs> um, oh, God. So All the right, point so is the point is that if you now... You did, you did pick DC, and I did pick Stipe. That said... Um, Honestly, and that's what makes DC's victory so much better because I, I didn't see it coming. And I'm really happy it did happen for him because he's a great guy and he deserves it. He's been through a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hardships in his life. And to see where he is now is fantastic. Now, I'm not the best friends with Daniel Cormier, but I'm, I've got a good relationship with him. You know, I'm not like one of his boys in his inner circle. I can't pretend to be, but I have a good relationship with him. Obviously, I work with him regularly. Great guy, great family man, hardworking, dedicated you know, and for all the ball busting and what that he does, still very humble. Uh, he, you know, a lot of similarities to myself, to be honest. <laughs> I said all those good things about him and then said them about me. No, but that, I think that's why we get on, is what I'm saying. Um, and, yeah, to go out there and become, you know, the double champ. DC, DC used to stand for default champ. Now DC stands for double champ, which is pretty remarkable. It really is. Yeah. So God bless him. And he's going to make a ton of money now. He, it's I, the most I don't know impressive. how the pay-per-views were. Google, just, uh, Harrington, just Google uh, 226 pay-per-view buys while uh, Lewis says something of it, no consequence. The early numbers say it's uh, slightly under 400,000. Okay, all right. Yeah. It's not that's it's surprising. Nothing, it's not, I don't think it's that surprising because there's nobody that's that crazy. I think we're in the era of if you're in the four to 500,000 range, that's the new 750,000 to a million. It's just there's so many pay-per-views. There's a few stars that they really, really push. And I think if you do four to 500,000 buys, I think that's very, very good uh, today in, in MMA for UFC. If you look at all their numbers, it seems like it all is, the pay-per-views have been a little bit lower. Um, and not to mention the fact that there's fights nearly every weekend. There's MMA yeah. on other channels, other products, so and all this type much. of things. Supply and demand. And, 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 and TV viewership, I mean, I don't, I don't know about this for sure, but I think I'm right. I think... TV viewing, viewership across the board is down. Anyway, people steal it. You know, we'll, people steal yeah, it, dude. I was playing. I was playing video games with just some fans around the country, right? Which, but we'll shout out. We do have a couple BYM fans that play Fortnite with me, uh, which is nice. pretty fucking great. And um, my username uh, PR Rattlesnake, if you guys want to play. But they, every one of them, it was crazy. Every single one of them. This is a different generation because these are you know 18 to 25 year old kids that are college kids, right? So I'm like, oh, I'm going to go order UFC 226 now, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. They're like, order it. They're like, dude, just go to this fucking oh, one really? subreddit with free fights. And it, they said the stream is perfect. They're like, go to this other website. Really? The, every one of them. This is like, you know, I played with a few different, probably four or five different kids that day. They were like, yeah, we're not paying for it. So I think a, a huge reason why there's a big decline in pay-per-view buys is because this generation who's getting into MMA now I think a vast, vast majority of them just aren't paying for it. They get it online, yeah, or they watch the highlights afterwards. It's just not the same right. thing. I think you're right, and I never really thought about that, but that is definitely part of it because even on your phone, everybody has a smart device these days, yeah. and even on your phone, you can stream it on your phone. And I, I, I've never streamed a UFC pay-per-view. I have no need, um, but I've, I've streamed boxing fights that happen in the UK that aren't 
airing in the US. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, say, well, when there's a boxer that I know that I follow from the UK and I want to see that fight, I cannot, even if I wanted to, pay for the uh, the pay per view in the US. So I, I, I put it on Twitter or whatever, then I get links to streams and it's super easy. I don't even easy. need to be sat on a computer or a laptop. My phone will do it. So when that's actually a good point when you think about it, nearly every, I mean, unless we're talking third world countries and, you know, people in poverty and whatnot. Most people have a smart device these days and, and they can do it very easily. The streaming is getting stronger, cheaper, better. Yeah. I mean, dude, five years ago, I used to, to get the, you know, it was uh, uh, sports, whatever, firstrowsports.eu was the website back in the day. I don't even know. It probably still exists, right? Um, which, we're at, I'm at, you know, in fact, bleep, bleep the name out because I don't want to fuck. Is that going to be hard? Fuck it. Don't bleep the name out. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't the, matter, Lewis. The point okay. is, I used to go there back in the day, and it was very annoying to watch the fight because it would come in very blurry. It would be, it would stop and go, and sure, you have to find sure, the. Yeah. They have a bunch of links. You have to find the right one. But now it's dude, the technology is there where you just get a perfect stream. So why would well, these, I don't have? Go on, sorry. But why would these eighteen-year-old kids, if they can do it now? Now, if you have it at your fingertips, we click a button and it's free. And there's a subreddit set up. It's like free fight streams or something like that. Why wouldn't you go do it? I don't understand so why I spent the sixty-five dollars. I'm away out of the house, and Callum is still choosing to spend the fucking sixty-five dollars. <laughs> stream it from Reddit, he, Callum. <laughs> the little shit. He, he buys the pay per view every time, but he definitely knows how to stream it. Yeah. What the fuck. And that's what they do. They counterbalance the the revenue they lose for that by charging now sixty-five dollars for the baseline pay per view, and it used to be. I mean, when did it jump from 45 to 65? That just happened out of nowhere. No, I went to 40 to 50 to 59, now to 65. It's crazy. Uh, also, another thing as well, I don't have one, and I need to get one because I do miss a lot of English TV, but apparently the, there's these boxes, I forget what you call them now, and you can get pay-per-views, yeah. uh, brand new movies, TV channels from all over the world. Uh, it's like Fire and, Stick know, or something? Firebox or something like that. I I, I don't know. Yeah, something Cody. like that. I, I I don't know what they're called. Um, that sounds like a big life. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, I would like one though, because I, I want the English TV shows. I do miss a bit of come dine with me. But um, a little bit of yeah. Mr. Bean. So 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 so, so ho hold on. So it was just under four hundred thousand. You never know. That might go up. But I tell you what. Uh, it certainly delivered. And DC did amazing. You know, I spoke about it the other day, so we won't go into it too much. Yeah. But Stipe was the bigger guy. Stipe was a victim of his own success because he was winning those grappling sequences. And uh, that allowed Daniel in the pocket. And he swung that massive hook. And it was a beautiful hook. And he even predicted it. He predicted a first-round knockout on the Fox desk. Kenny Florian was even saying, oh, my God, I feel like he's going to knock him out as the fight was happening. And then it happened. And then we had to... We, I, I don't know why it happens. I'm sure there's a technical reason. But as soon as the fight stops, we have to start our post-fight show on FS1. And whilst all you know, the madness of Brock Lesnar coming in and this and that, we're live on air with our headsets on in the arena. And the noise Whoa. was just deafening. And I mean deafening. And I wanted to turn around and watch what was going on. We're trying to like, oh, hey, guys, welcome to the FS1 uh, post-fight show, blah, 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 blah. And... All hell was breaking loose in the background, and we couldn't hear a damn thing. But, uh, of course, Brock Lesnar came in, pushed DC. DC pushed him back, was, which was, I said, he definitely lost the pushing competition yeah. because DC flew across the cage. Uh, DC's push back looked very womanly, if I, if I must yeah, admit. Yeah, DC pushed him, and then DC still fell back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. DC looked like exactly. he hurt his hand pushing Brock. But that's going to be a big fight, man. That's going to be absolutely gigantic. And I couldn't be happier for Daniel. Yeah. He really deserves it. As so a personal well. level, like, yeah, I think DC is amazing. And and look, dude, fuck that. Fuck John Jones. Fuck what you, what you heard. Daniel Cormier is the fucking baddest man on the planet right now. Pound for pound, everything else, dude, he went out from light heavyweight and is the best at light heavyweight and, and beat the, the man at heavyweight. There's no debate, in my opinion, that he's absolutely the best pound for pound fighter in the world right now. Mike, we got to talk about BetDSI, which is, yeah, we love we love them. They've been with us for a long time. BetDSI has been hooking us up. They've been sponsoring the show for a long time. And what BetDSI.com is, it's a website that makes it super easy to throw some cash down on your favorite sports, especially fights. If you love fights as it is, throw a little bit of cash down on a fight. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to change your whole perspective. Yeah, that's right, Lewis. BetDSI.com have been in business for over 20 years, and they're a top-rated business on all the review sites. 
easy to use fast playing interface bet games as they go live in game where you're in options throughout tournaments so you can make plays throughout entire games and events plus great customer service available 24 7 365 bet dsi has built a reputation on fast payments of winnings so if you want to watch a sport get involved put some money on it go to betdsi.com use the promo code me 25 you get 25 bucks for free just for registering using the promo code ME25. And, of course, if you listen to the podcast, you know that if you use that code, ME25, and put money down, they will triple that money. They will give a 200% bonus match. So if you want to bet on the World Cup final this weekend, go ahead and do that. I've got France beating Belgium to become the best team in the world. Use the promo code ME25. Put some money on, make some money, and get paid fast. And also, there's a big fight coming up. Um, newcomer um, in Blagoy Ivanov, a 16-1 fighter, making his UFC debut. Um, only lost ever to Alexander Volkov, who's had a, a ton of success recently. And a lot of people are calling him the next big thing in the UFC in the heavyweight division. So this guy's very, very tough. And uh, he's fighting Junior Dos Santos. He is a plus 145 underdog. I say throw that money on Ivanov. It's an, who knows? Look, JDS is the fucking man, obviously, but this is free money, right? And then you get to look like the man. Nobody knows who this guy is. You're hanging out with a bunch of your friends like, dude, I threw 25 bucks on this guy. Watch. And the worst case scenario, you lose 25 bucks. It's not even yours. <laughs> so you get some false credit from your friends if yes. you do that. But you're right. He is a big underdog. Dos Santos is the man. But these Russians that are unheard of, he was a World Series of Fighting champion, 16-1. and one. He beat Fedor Emelianenko in a, a sambo tournament as well so legit grappling big guy 16 and 1 as you say and it's free betdsi.com promo code me 25 25 dollars put it on whoever you want and there you go well, i gotta say one on the ufc pound for pound rankings now as well he should be as he should be yeah, he's um, number one on the pound for pound rankings and he was in studio yesterday on ufc tonight we were interviewing him when he, he realized it because they put it up on the big screen and he was Obviously very thrilled and touched to see that. I mean, that's Good. a big moment for anybody. To be considered number one pound for pound in the world is just a massive accomplishment. So yeah, well done, Daniel Cormier. He's a monster, dude. And he's done it natural. You can look at the... Daniel Cormier yeah. has never even looked at a steroid. You look at Daniel Cormier's body. <laughs> that motherfucker does not take steroids, okay? He does it naturally. No, no, for sure. And, for sure. you know... Well, well, but, but that that is kind of naive, Lewis. I, I know it is, I know. respect to think that because not all steroids do that. And I, I... You know, I, I think there's people, I was going to say a name there, but I won't because I don't know it for a fact, so it's not fair to the person, that I kind of have those physiques that have done steroids, but DC is not that guy. Yeah. DC definitely isn't that guy. He's wrestled his whole life. Even now in between training camps, he's doing, he's running wrestling camps for kids. Yeah. He has his own Daniel Cormier wrestling program, a lot of subscribers, and a lot of people involved with that. He's a busy, busy man. And he's also been you know, performing had... at the highest level for such a long time, uh, you know, Olympics, yep. college athlete. He's been being tested for performance-enhancing drugs for a very, very long oh, time. He's sure, never been exactly. caught doing anything yeah. shady or weird. So, you know, in my opinion, where there's smoke, there's fire. There's never been ever, ever even smoke with no, DC. Not so, so much as a, a, a Yeah, that's why I, th I put him ahead of John Jones, uh, you know. Um, so the reality, though, if they give Brock Lesnar a title shot, I mean, we... Uh, I, I cannot accept that. I cannot, I mean, look, I can. I'm going to buy it. Well, I saw my thing the other day. I kind of broke that down a little bit because everyone is bitching about that. I say everyone. I've seen some reports, some tweets, some journalists talking about it saying that was bullshit. Now, the reason for that is a good, valid reason. He's, what is it? His record since 2010, I believe, is zero wins, <laughs> two losses, and one no contest. And he's only just finished his suspension for steroids. And he's going to walk into a title shot. Okay, that obviously rubs some people up the wrong way. But <laughs> I want to see the argument there. You literally listed out every reason why yeah. you could never have a title shot. Two, coming off two, uh, two losses and a no contest for steroids. Please, I'd love to hear this. <laughs> You're right. Listen, and in, and I, I said this the other day. So I don't want to say I'm going to say in a normal sport, but but this is it, it, it's it's a combat sport. 